Alright, so today we're going to be working on a Dell Inspiron 5720. Um, I need to remove a broken piece from uh, a 3mm or 3.5mm jack that got stuck into the microphone jack. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you what I'm doing with that because I'm just probably going to open it and see if I can get it out. We're going to do a complete tear down of this computer, so let's begin. We'll remove the hard drive and memory cover, two screws. For the ones that don't have any uh, many screws, I'll just go ahead and do it live. For the rest, I'll go ahead and pause it. I have a jewel case with some double-sided tape. Uh, next, we're going to remove the battery. I've already undid the latches here. Uh, as you can see here, it's got the two latches. You just move those over to the side, and then it's got a lip that you can lift up, get the battery out. Uh, there's the screw here uh, under this extra hard drive bay. Remove the screw, remove the optical drive. There's three screws under the optical drive, two screws underneath the battery. There's three on either side on each side of the battery, so there's six, ten, uh, four on the bottom. So that's ten on the case, two here, so fifteen, and then four for the hard drive. So there's a total of nineteen screws that I'm going to be removing. Uh, there they are different sizes, but the ones that are different sizes are marked on the case, uh, for example, M2 5x5, those are the screws that are different sizes. The ones that are not marked are exactly the same size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it, remove the screws, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I've gone ahead and removed all the screws. Now we're going to remove the hard drive, and we're just going to slide it. Lift it up and away. Okay, so now that we've removed that, we have to remove the keyboard. Uh, actually, before we do that, um, so you know this computer looks pretty clean. I clean them before I work on them. I like to work on clean computers. So I'm just going to take a nylon spudger. There are four clips along the top of the keyboard and there are two, one on each side of the keyboard. Okay, so I'm just going to stick the flat end of the spudger right next to the clip and pry it up. As you can see there. And then do the same for the side. And now you can just slide it towards the LCD. You have these six tabs that go into the holes. Remove the, or undo the lock. Remove the ribbon cable. Set that aside. Now we have four screws holding this top um, palm rest on. There's one here. Second one, and then there's two right here. So three. And four. So I'll go ahead put those there. Now we have to undo the ribbon cable. So we have uh, four. We have three ring cables in this connector. This connector powers the Ethernet and your USB port on the right hand side here. So we'll go ahead and just undo that. Remove the ribbon cable. And then we'll also have to slide it out of the clip here. Okay. So remove. Grab the little blue tab. Slide it out and over okay okay now you should be able to just gently go around the case releasing the clips and there you have it remove the palm rest the motherboard is held in by five screws. They're marked with B5, or I'm sorry, B1 through B5. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, I'll show you that. So let's disconnect the LCD here. And put that aside. It's got a little bit of double-sided tape, so you can... We're going to need to remove this fan. It's got two screws. Undo the connection, lift it up and away, undo the speaker connection, and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I haven't checked to see. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and remove the speaker connection. Gently wiggle it out. Uh, if your, your uh, computer comes with a dummy card, remove it from the SD card reader. So now 
we have five screws to remove. They're marked, this is B1 at the top left. And then it goes down B2, B3, B4, and B5. So I'll just do that live because there's only five screws. Okay. Four. And five. Set that aside. And now I'm going to lay the computer down. I'm going to lift up the the motherboard. And you have to be careful because the connection to your oh I forgot to mention um, on the Wi-Fi we do have to unplug this from it so that we can and the Wi-Fi cables so that we can remove the motherboard. I forgot to mention that, sorry. So then the DC jack is right here on the left and it's got a very short cable so we want to make sure to disconnect it. Okay, And what I'm going to do is just wiggle one side out and there we go. So let me go ahead and do my repair and then I'll come back to show you how to put it back together. So I'm going to pause that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I was able to get the broken pieces out. I'll show you the pieces that I got out of there. Um, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see this. Those little pieces there, that's what I got out of the microphone jack. That's what broke in there. So now we have to get the motherboard back on. Same thing, we're going to get our, our motherboard and then we're going to gently um, connect that DC jack wire here so that we can power the board. Okay, now that's in there. I'm going to try to get it. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now let's line it up, get stuff out of the way, so that we can get it to sit nice and flush. There we go. Let's get the five screws back in. Sorry for the shakiness, the table shakes the camera, or my phone, I should say, it's not a camera. Okay. Let's get the fan, plug it in, plug in the speakers. And now forget to plug in anything, because then you'll be opening everything back up again. So two screws holding this fan down on the motherboard. Gotta run the video cable. And always try to remember how the cables ran so that you can just plug them in as they were. There's that one there for the USB and the Ethernet cable. So now that we have those connected, let's go ahead and get our palm rest back on. Double check, make sure we got the fan. We have speakers. We have these two connected. All right, perfect. Push down. You'll hear them all click. All right, start with our ribbon cable over here. Okay. All right, cool. Now this one. Now 
one more. Great. Let's get the four screws that go under the keyboard. get the keyboard. The ribbon cable says up, so it's pretty easy not to mess it up. Perfect. Flip it over. Disconnect. Just go ahead and connect all the stuff that's been disconnected. So the cable here, Wi-Fi, Get the hard drive back on here. Snap it back in. And I'm not gonna bore you with putting the screws back in, so I'm gonna put the four for the uh, for the hard drive, the four that go down here, the three and the two that go under the optical, the battery, the six up top. So I'll be back once I'm done with that. All right, so I'm finishing up. I'm just gonna get the optical drive, so I figured I might as well record that. So I'm getting the optical drive. Put the screw back in there. And we just have the cover and then we'll turn it on. I know the battery's dead, so I'll have to just snap that in there and then I'll have to plug it into the charger. Okay, get the charger. There we go. Should be getting. All right, perfect. Well, there you have it. That was a teardown of the Dell Inspiron 5720. Uh, any questions, comments, put them in the uh, comment section below. Um, this should have helped you out with everything, uh, any part being removed. Um, also, this is the the model that you. These are the models that you can replace the the lids on them if you wanted to change the color. And it's pretty cool. There's just a little latch right there, and that'll release it. And you just. Push it back in like that. Oh, there you have it. So it's working. Get this to the client. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Any, uh, I appreciate if you subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, any requests on any computer? I'll try. Um, I, I mean, I don't have tons of computers laying around, um, but if you have a request, I'll try to find one that's broken and buy it and. Uh, See if I can uh, I can help you with whatever fix you you have. Um, again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.